So this is Sonic Revolution 2023 hosted at Carson Community Center. All right, so yeah, this is gonna be a small convention. Well, even though it's not actually a convention center, it's just a community center. I'm assuming it's gonna be much better than the last year's because the previous event was pretty much small. This is where I'm staying on the line here and it goes all the way to this end. There's a lot of Sonic fans, volunteers, and everything else around this place. <gasps> it's gonna be a lot of exciting stuff to do around. Right now, I'll just wait until 10 a.m. Over time, there's gonna be more people um, coming. Yeah. Even though there's just not that much line, despite coming extremely early. Somewhere around 9.55, this line looks like this. Thank you, oh my gosh. This is, oh my god. I'm sorry, I was not expecting this at all. This is fantastic, thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Also, I gotta be careful. Just a small update that that this line right there isn't actually the front entrance, but the other one right there is the front entrance. So, change hard, they might shift the lines a bit. You should get a little bit more time to make sure that you can accept all your tickets and get you in, oh, nice oh, and oh, sound. Sure. So just going to, give us a couple more minutes, we'll check back with you guys in like five. Can you okay. look your Although the event technically starts at 10, they just need more time. So more time means more time for vlogging around the outside parts. All right, so again, just still waiting. Unfortunately, I guess it is now the late event, 10.15 at the moment. If they say give them five more minutes after the event started, it took them way too much time for them to get started. There already. Yo, that's what's up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Here's the check in already. Cars and Sarah looks pretty nice too. The first few people get free posters. All right, this is the main event already. Almost uh, this main hallway already. So there's a lot of artists, alleys, and everything that, and some YouTubers too. Once again, this is a pretty small event. Here are some of the vendors and some artists here too. So there's a scroll through most of that. Some of them are pretty much being set up right there. Chaos Creators. Uh, it looks like Jovi. There we go. Just made an order within this event at the beginning. There's another vendor which I remember seeing from a previous Sonic Revolution as well. The artists, all that. I did made a purchase a while back. There's some new artist hallies here too, although I remember some. Okay, there we go. I just made some purchases and I got my Discord yeah. inside. No, right now, no, I'm no, using this because the reason changed oh, to Discord wow. removed uh, the discriminators. Oh, yeah, no, so no, now no, I have no, the standard no, 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 everything in the case. Here's another thing. Yeah, it's fine regardless. Super silver. You know what they say, the more the merrier. You know what they say, the more the merrier. The quote from Dr. Eggman. <laughs> so I got more already from most of the Sonic artists. Alright, so this one has a large print as well. Just uh, Kristen, Chris Dobbins also has Twitter and Instagram. There's nothing particular that I'm looking for. Okay, so the environment is getting pretty loud already. It's hard to control the sound. Elena Productions. I remember seeing this YouTuber from the previous convention, Sonic Revolution 2022. The only cosplay! Yeah. You don't think anyone here is just like me? Chris Dobbins. 
Pants and My Dog Liar. Oh, and there's me with Dion and Evelyn. I see Elka Rookarina and Snaggy Pete. Dude. Let's not forget Zamba Holic and Super Silver. We're super smart the entire time we can. Whoa! That is great, no but What if I want to buy an official watch in me? Or some other official merch with my face on it? It's too much to record, so just gotta continue on to where I was pretty at. All the merchants as well, I think I even know some of them, just uh, not as much. Everything pretty classic as well, just uh, lots of posters. This one right there is actually the same vendor that I met from the previous convention. This one I can buy something from the artist. I'm just gonna have to scroll through more. And there's some more artists uh, right there. Just not gonna spend too much as of now. As you, as you may have heard, we've got incredible talent all gathered here today in celebration of our favorite hedgehog, his pals, and all the adventures they've experienced. Whether it's through the games, comics, TV shows, or other forms of entertainment, Sonic has won the hearts of many, and we're here to show our love for the franchise. Sonic Revolution started as a meetup group back in 2013 after Sega had decided to move their event, Sonic Boom, to St. Louis. Even those in California who did not go on short notice high and dry. That meetup, we decided to form our own co convention, and in 2014, Sonic Revolution was born. We always believe that you shouldn't have the suit to complain if you have the capability to do things yourself, and we did it. Over the years, we've had an incredible range of talent, both, both, uh, both fan and professional, attend the event. Many are planned, some are last minute, and there are even those a surprise guests or two that have showed up on the Sonic? So stick There's around and keep your eyes peeled, because you never know who may show up today. You. We also got a panel at 2 o'clock, we'd like to check it out. We're going to do a quick rundown, rundown of the schedule. The schedule is shown on the screenshot. There goes so much purchases already. A lot this time. Some vendors. Well, they both sound like great choices. I don't know which way to go. Actually, that's mostly it inside. So, there are some side uh, things that they have. So, most of everything. I guess they're forming a line to get autographs, I believe. Except, yeah, since the line's too big, I'm not gonna get it. But there's some side stuff. There's some bikes I care as well. There's too many of them to the virus. So funny. Look at that. Even as you should come to the infection first. Don't sound so eager. Your life is on the line. We have no concrete date, but um, we're gonna try and reach out. There's no real legacy. Just so no die or you did play the demo version of that game as well. Looks pretty good. Characters? The character you played as. Oh, uh, I think I played as uh, this one? Yeah. yeah. approachable character to play as. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because in terms of design archetypes, Bingo is designed as a character, like if you're familiar with Sonic games, you'll be more comfortable with him. And Roy is basically the combat-focused character. Alright. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. That's the gameplay demonstration. It's a demo version with a time limit as well. Hey, guess so that's most of basically everything. Just uh, so that we can hang out with other side fans or just wait for the schedule. So maybe I'll wait for the schedule. Back at the spender again. Looks like there's egg rolled again. <laughs> oh man, there it is. <laughs> Those are Sonic Trons, most of them, although there's some side series such as Persona, Pokemon, etc. There's a schedule right there as well. So panel schedule as of now. So overall, that's all the purchases that I made. I spent the least amount than the last year, which I spent the most amount. Oh yeah, so this Whoa. is the trivia. In Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog game, what was Blaze and Rouge roles in the murder mystery game?
Shadow, Cosmo, and Styx. All attendees seem to have gathered near the stage, so here's one example of them playing Undefeatable. One of the guests named Victor McKnight, who attended Sonic Revolution. He is a music producer and provides Frontiers-related music. However, due to YouTube's flawed copyright system, I cannot play the music entirely, but you can check out his YouTube channel shown on the screen. Hurry, there's another hallway which leads to this uh, room A, which they have the panel schedule as well. So, I guess I didn't notice that. Okay. Like, um, as far as like, like, um, session for the voice actor we've done, like, uh, this is just by ourselves. Uh, we can take a look at the voice is fine. Yeah, all right. Um, I think for me, just the job is voice again, man. This is fun. I don't know if there's a particular moment, but just voice scan is always the last. Um, just the fact that I can even touch my, my public's register with that voice at all is uh, still a miracle to me. So any time I get to do it is, is, is always a blast. Um, and obviously I also write for a lot of voice actors, so I think for me, getting to work with you know these guys on the set is, is, is just fun. I want to always make sure that I give, you know, the best direction I can. Um, I always want to make sure that there's questions, you know, I want, I want them to, you know, ask, ask them. I, I just want to make sure that, like, they're having as much fun as I am making this thing. So it's like, you know, the whole thing. The next schedule hosts a voice acting panel room which featured Ryan and Pete, who voiced Sonic and Silver respectively. I may feature this as an informal vlogging video soon, since this video runs too long to play. Here are some examples. When I was doing Silver, I found myself that, uh, like Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. I was always like this. It's no use! Yeah! We're coming in for these characters you guys first came in. What was like your main motivation for Sonic and Silver? 
main motivation for the characters? That's the question? Yeah. Mine was always energy. Sonic is always fast, and he was a teenager, and like, it was just energy, energy, energy. So, that was what every, like, almost it seemed like every uh, session that I had recording the voice of Sonic was like, I felt like I was boxing 12 rounds. Because everything was pushed and energetic, and, you know, he doesn't say anything quiet. <laughs> it's always, yeah, this is happening, yeah! What is your favorite Sonic character? Favorite Sonic character? Divisive, very divisive. <laughs> I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out on this one. I, I don't know if you'll agree with me, but I really like Sonic. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. I mean, I think you probably thought I'd say something else, but I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. It's a, he's pretty popular, huh? I hear he is. Yeah, he's got a couple of games, a couple of movies, a couple of TV shows. Yeah, they made a movie or something. I mean, yeah. I, I'm actually, I like Tails. Look at you. Yeah, I like Tails. Tails is really cool. I mean, it's adorable. Plus, Colleen, Emmy, we got Tails. Awesome, awesome voice actress. Yeah. Okay, so my question is, what is your favorite Sonic, uh, from Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Heroes, what is your favorite Sonic scene? And uh, what is your favorite silver scene? Favorite Sonic scene? <laughs> Just because it's so iconic, the opening scene to Sonic Adventure is always kind of my favorite. When he's like, he's gonna crash! Ah! <laughs> the first time I played that game, I was like, that's not how I remember saying that line. <laughs> Why did that turn out like that? My favorite was, so before, before the game, before I ever recorded for the game, they called me in to do uh, the, the trailer that was going to play at E3 that year. And so, to this day, what, what really still sticks in my heart is just, because uh, Silver wasn't in the trailer at first, you know, like the whole trailer goes through and then at the end, they just show him like silhouetted on top of a mountain looking down and he, when he says, I finally found him, the Ibliss Trigger. So, Silver, what should we have for lunch? I'm starving. In the future, we don't even eat lunch. You're always talking about the future. I want to know what to eat today. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I know you're always talking about these chili dog things. So now you're talking. All I right. want a chili dog. Or nine. <laughs> You know what? I resist, but it's no use! I don't know, that sounded like a tagline. It is a tagline! In the future, it's all taglines! Well played, Silver. Are we gonna eat lunch, or are we just gonna go to the future? If I know, we'll eat lunch. <laughs> I win! What are we having? Well, it's gonna be chili dogs! It's no use! Okay! <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's around 3.05 p.m. This event is still going until 6 p.m. So I guess I'm going to stay as long as I want. The event schedule is what I'm about to say.
Actually, Knuckles the Echidna. All right, check this out. Yeah! Cosplay Nights Rouge the Bat. Cosplaying as Sonic. And cosplaying as Tails. All right, check that out. That is a great matching set. That is awesome. And I am cosplaying as Dr. Ivor Robotnik, also known as Dr. Eggman, the world's great scientific genius, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. <laughs> I'm cosplaying the classic, the OG, Dr. Eggman! <laughs> playing as Shadow the Hedgehog from the hit game, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Does anyone know the name of Amy's favorite band? I need to print tickets for them. Contest. Wow. For our third place, the, uh, our, the prize for the third place. 
case it's going to be this little supersonic figure. And so, our third place winner for the supersonic figure is... Wave the Swallow! Just like the last year's raffle, sometimes people leave pretty early or didn't show up. Nine, six, eight, one, zero, eight, four. Sí. 
six, eight, one, zero, four, seven.
that? Did I win anything? Knuckles, you still have your ticket with you. We didn't know if you won anything. Yeah, they kept calling out numbers that no one answered. So, one of those could have been yours? I don't know. Ah, this sucks. I couldn't get back any sooner. I got into a fight with a pigeon during lunch. They what now? I stole one of my fries. I had to get it back. You, you got into a fight with a pigeon over fries? A fry. And yes, I was hungry. I paid for that fry. Tell me you at least won the fight. I plead the fifth. What? I missed the last part of the day? Afraid so. But at least you had fun while you were here, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so apparently my batteries is about to run out pretty soon. So that means I can't charge anything, even with my backup camera. So yeah, I'm just gonna use my phone to vlog for now. Yeah, other than that, I kind of enjoyed most of this convention already. I guess some people are packed up pretty early including some of the artists too, but uh, I enjoyed it. Yes, you can see my stuff that I carry all along as well, including my tripod. Okay, that should be it for now. Just not gonna spend as much as like the last time from the last year, because for me, I just spent too much money on some art stuff, all that. So yeah, that's all in Sonic Revolution 2023 in Carson, California, or Carson Community Center. So yeah, stay tuned to what I showcase. Final results. Yes, I'm on my phone for now. Since my camera battery is dead, just got to recharge it right now. So over here is where I got the signatures from Ryan and Emmy. And the other signature, which is hard to see, is uh, Pete. Hmm. Server voice actor. This one I got is the Sonic Street Fighter style character select screen as well. And this one, which I got it from, however to pronounce that name, with uh, Frog Forest boss battle. And this one right there is uh, basically one of the photos of Sonic Heroes, at which I got one. Even though this uh, is the artist uh, shown right there. Coincidentally, yes, I won this action figure again, <laughs> just like the last year's raffle to which I won the 666 ticket. It got pretty infamous, which I was wearing a shirt like this. Yes, that's right. I'm wearing a Sonic t-shirt to which I got from the previous Sonic Revolution from a raffle. Once again, yes, second time I won this raffle while I was vlogging in the middle. This poster right there is where you get the poster if you come here first. Here's some of my all-time favorite artists, uh, Mimi Peon with some four charms, uh, large prints, and this one for uh, Jovial Knights, and the last one, uh, Gotta remember next time. Oh, of course, yeah, this artist, uh, Tyler McGrave. Yeah, only the <gasps> classic poster for now. I did saw the Sonic Adventure poster, but eh, I guess and that was the only one that I found selling. Other than that, I got some miscellaneous stickers as well. Some Tales and Amy's, another Tales and Amy as well. And this one, I believe this looks more like a, a free sticker to which you go here first. I meant to say yes, this is a free sticker that I got when I first line up at the very first slot or the first to be within one of the lines. For well, a free item, yes, it looks upside down. Why not? This is the user right there, a blue moon 88 gave me this for free apparently. Overall, I guess that's basically it already. I got like a lot of stuff ever since even though I spent less than what I previously spent from the last year's revolution. Anyways, I generally love it so far. Just uh, gonna use it as a collection. So I might possibly do a collection as part of the episode, the Sonic Collective stuff, to which I have multiple artists, prints, charms, stickers, all that, even some of the plushies that I carry from 
some of the previous stores. I may try to create it as much as possible, even though I don't remember some of the prints. Just let me know in the comments below of who that print belongs to. Alright, so that's all to it. I'm just gonna make sure that I got almost everything ready and set up so that I could show the list of collectible items that I got from multiple artists from different conventions or any other small community events. And I guess that's all to it. If you guys do enjoy the Sonic Revolution 2023 vlog, please consider following me on other social media platforms in my about page. I'm glad I enjoyed it a lot pretty well. Much better than the last year. If you do guys enjoy it, please consider following me on other social media platforms in my about page. And that's all to it. This is Vlog Without TF signing out.